Super Saiyan 3 is one of these forms people start to forget it exists. And there's a good reason for that. Before we get to the reason, I think it is best to tell you my history and expectations about Super Saiyan 3. When I first saw it, and Dragon Ball Z was still about to enter the fight against Goku and Freezer. And I was skeptical about Super Saiyan already. And a friend showed me all these forms Goku would obtain eventually. Uh, you have Super Saiyan, obviously, you have Super Saiyan 3, which we refer to as Mega Saiyan. Uh, Super Saiyan 4, Goku as a kid, being referred as Chibi Goku in Dragon Ball Final Boat. Ultra Saiyan, which is just the form Trunks use. And Fusion. Things started to started to feel like it's going to get out of hand. As that friend had also a full Japanese movie file from D Dragon Ball Z uh, movie 12 Fusion Reborn where I would see a uh, entire Dragon Ball movie for the first time. And it kinda blew my mind with the action seeing Freezer beaten that easily and Goku and Vegeta working together and fused to Gogeta. And what I remembered about this movie was obviously uh, the Mega Saiyan, aka Super Saiyan 3. Uh, so I was only thinking why why we have so many Super Saiyan forms honestly. Why did we need this many Super Saiyan variations? Uh, isn't Super Saiyan already too much? I don't want Goku to pretty much be a Digimon and transform and to beat up enemies and always overpower. Uh, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2 and many others hardly had any consequences in their usage. So for Super Saiyan 3 uh, it was important to me that there's something that justified its existence. And I feel that Buzaga did a good job at that despite how bad it is. Uh, Goku had Super Saiyan immediately as, as he was introduced in that arc which many people considered an ass pull. <coughs> In my humble opinion, it wasn't. Uh, so, Goku trained for seven years with a dead body in the realm of the Kai Grand Kai. Yeah, we know he helped Gohan reach Super Saiyan 2 in the past, so it didn't feel odd that someone like Goku could obtain a form like Super Saiyan 3 under these conditions. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 also came with a few interesting things, for example, the effectiveness depends on the user, uh, the place it's used and condition. Uh, the most effective Super Saiyan 3 is in the realm of the dead, while you are death yourself, uh, like in the Fusion Reborn movie. The least effective one, which we didn't see much, is living body on earth. Super Saiyan 3 is hard to obtain to the point even gag parody characters like Goten and Trunks who had seen Super Saiyan 3 transformation twice because the anime is better than the manga and these kinds of things like always with a detailed explanation had to fuse and only could still could hold it just for 5 minutes. So with all these negatives why even use Super Saiyan 3? Uh, basically, it gives your Super Saiyan 4 times the power of a Super Saiyan 2, aka a 4 times boost from your normal state. I think I complained about how pathetic all these forms are in Dragon Ball Super and don't get the job done. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 didn't win a single fight, if unless we count. Dragon Ball Z movie 13 Wrath of the Dragon, which is another great movie and you should watch it. Uh, but whenever Super Saiyan 3 appeared it had a certain intensity, as Goku's fight against Buu made him look like a freaking badass. Even in his fight against Kid Buu he looked like, uh, Goku's moves looked like uh, it increased in impact in Fusion Reborn, Super Saiyan 3 had my favorite transformation scenes of all Super Saiyan 3's and how it destroyed first one jump number was a spectacle. Uh, his, uh, how he exchanged blows with Janemba in his transformed state was also 
pretty much better than every arc, uh, every fight in the Busa, with the exception of the fight against Kid Buu. I think the ending with Super Saiyan 3 would have been a fine last power up for Dragon Ball, despite my love for how badass Super Saiyan 4 is. <coughs> so, the new power ups, according to Toei and Toriyama, can only have an impact if the last looks like a complete looks like complete crap. And this is how Super Saiyan 3's fall starts in GT and Super, which tried to move away from it. I think GT did a better job. Goku was incapable to handle Super Saiyan 3 in his first fight against Baby, since he was in a child's body and you know how a living body was already struggling, and now you have an untrained body uh, trying to use Super Saiyan 3. But the second rematch against Baby uh, a significantly powered up Baby made it look like a complete joke. Goku would replace it with Super Saiyan 3. Eh, uh, Super Saiyan 4, excuse me. And now we go to Dragon Ball Super, which completely ruined Super Saiyan 3 and its clear boy. We are living in an area where we need to shit every. where companies need to shit every week anime non-stop and uh, animators are working on the slave labor conditions animating something like Super Saiyan 3 would take too much time with all the hair which is why the Super Saiyan forms are just polyp swaps now like all the forms in Super are polyp swaps not only Super Saiyan forms look how garbage the fight against builds look like makes you wonder why they didn't use the footage from the movie like in the prior episodes the worst thing about f forms in Super in contrast to GT is how easy they are to obtain making our previous forms useless while performing like garbage uh, Super completely ignored Super Saiyan 3 because of budget and one of these reasons we don't see Gotenks and why he got replaced by freaking Master Roshi and Krillin of all people. They couldn't have given us Goten and Trunks with Super Saiyan God uh, since there's a stupid God ritual that is easy to perform so they don't need Super Saiyan 3. Uh, now to the design, I didn't like it at first but it grew on me. You can clearly tell it's a powered up version of Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan 2. A long golden hair, intense, uh, more intense and compact aura which makes the outfit brighter in its light, lightning surrounding it like in Super Saiyan 2. It's a clear improvement of Super Saiyan 2's design and does reasonable, a reasonable evolution after it. Unlike all the forms in Dragon Ball Super which are just lazy and unoriginal. And also a high risk, high reward form, which made it reasonable that it didn't get spammed every episode. And whether it it appeared, you know, whenever it appeared, you know, shit was real. Only like, unless we talk about Dragon Ball Super, which makes every transformation look meaningless. But I don't think we need we needed Super Saiyan 3 since it didn't do much in the long run and it was introduced in a story full of power-ups like fusion and ultimate power I think it's fine for it to exist if Toriyama only if Toriyama only made it as something Gohan needs to live up to like I don't mean Gohan had to have Super Saiyan 3 I mean Goku having Super Saiyan 3 pretty much showed that Goku is now a different realm from Gohan and now Gohan needs to surpass Super Saiyan 3 to show that he is still a worthy successor to Goku and beat freaking Majin Buu. Then I think Super Saiyan 3 would have succeeded in its narrative purpose, which it did. <coughs> I still like Super Saiyan 3. Uh, but things have gotten to a point where 
even in video games, I wouldn't look forward to Super Saiyan 3 anymore. It's a great form. We had wondered how it would be if Gohan, Vegito and Gogeta had used it. It would it was used sparingly and had few uses, like Super Saiyan 4 was had few uses. Now it's third and fifth strongest form and the and the risk makes it very unreliable for it to be used. If Goku were to use Super Saiyan 3 now in Dragon Ball Super, it would feel like nothing. Because you know he has far better forms which are more reliable. Toyotaro spammed Super Saiyan 3 in his shitty Dragon Ball Super manga. And nobody gives us them. It was a job of form pretty much beaten by literal nobodies just like Super Saiyan God. So what do you think about Super Saiyan 3? I don't hate it. I don't think it's a pointless as Super Saiyan 2 and many others. It's a solid B rank Saiyan form in my mind.